Hey, what's up studs? Ryan here, or Aminar Productions, and we have another collection video. This collection video is going to be all of my sealed LEGO Star Wars sets as of now. Now obviously at some point some of these are going to be opened up and made for videos, and some of these I plan to maybe keep sealed forever. So in this video I am going to show you my sealed LEGO Star Wars collection. Now I do have other sealed sets from non-LEGO Star Wars lines, however obviously that's not included in this video because this is just LEGO Star Wars. I do at the time of recording this video have more stuff coming in the mail very soon so that will either be added on to the end of this video or I will just note it at the end of this video showing my eBay purchases that I'm going to be keeping sealed, at least for the foreseeable future. So I'm getting some more sealed sets in the mail. It just didn't make it in time for this video and I'm kind of on a time crunch here. So we have a bunch of sealed poly bags over here, whether I bought them on eBay, got them at Lego conventions, or in the case of those Money Falcons on clearance at Target, just cool to have sealed there. We have quite a few different sets there, but nothing notable really. The only thing I guess is the Brickmaster Slave one, but that one's not even that rare. It's not like expensive or anything. Over here we have my polybag minifigures. Starting over here, I found this Finn at GameStop like a few months ago, which was kind of cool. We have a bunch of like the Toys R Us polybags here, like C3PO, First Order, uh, General there. We got an A-Wing pilot. Then we have some May the 4th promos there. There we have the Clone Trooper Lieutenant, Darth Revan, and then we have one of the rarest sealed polybags I have. That's the Boba Fett. Uh, 30th anniversary Empire Strikes Back polybag, very cool. And then we have the silver TC-14, which a LEGO store employee sent me for free, which was a really cool experience back over the summer. And then I have a few of these LEGO Land, Mini Land, whatever the heck these are, giveaway things um, that I got at Brick Fair. I've never opened them. I know they're just like plastic Ziploc bags, but I have not opened them. So what does that say on the back? No, it's just like the date or something. But anyway, that's those That's uh, those poly bags. Now we can move on to the actual sets. Starting down here, we have a 2017 Y-Wing. At least I think it's 2017. Then we have the 2016 Vader's TIE Advance versus A-Wing Starfighter. I bought both those. I think I bought this for 35 and that for 45 And then shockingly, Captain Rex's ATTE behind there was $30 at Walmart. So I couldn't pass on that. That's where those three sets came to be for my sealed collection. When I see stuff on clearance, I usually buy it. We have the Home 1 Mon Calamari star cruiser eventually i do plan to open that up i bought it on bricklink earlier this year and I, I just plan to open it up i just don't have space for it right now right here we have 16 imperial assault hover tanks from rogue one you're probably wondering why i have 16 and why i would spend so much money on hover tanks well i didn't spend that much money on these because they were only seven dollars each so yeah i bought quite a few now there's 16 there but there i think were at least 30 at the walmart that i was at so i only bought half of them which was pretty shocking but it's pretty obvious why they had them on clearance because i had a ton of them but yeah bought quite a few i don't know what I'm going to do with those. They've been sealed here for over a year now, but that's just part of my collection for now. Down here we have the Series 4 Planet sets. I think these were 75 bucks at Brick Fair this year, which was a decent deal. These were never released in America, so they are pretty hard to come by, and that's why they were so expensive, and that's why I didn't own them previously. Right now they're sealed, but I do plan to open them up one day, probably, because I do have all the other Planet sets opened, so I may as well open those, right? I guess we'll cover up here real quick. We got a few of the Resistance Transport Pods. I bought those all at Walmart on clearance for 13 bucks each. And we'll cover that when we get back there. Down here, we have Battle on Seleucami. I bought this on clearance at Target, I think, for like 10 bucks or something. Pretty cool set to just have sealed in the collection. This AAT was like 50 bucks at Brick Fair this year. Very cool early 2000s set. There we have a Super Battle Droid Technic set next to my Stormtrooper Technic set. I bought that at Brick Fair for 25 bucks, and I think. And then I think uh, Dark Side Bricks sent me that for free, which is very awesome of him to send me that little gift. Thank you to Dark Side Bricks. Then we have a Porg there, which I do plan to build one day. Or I, it's my that's my second Porg. I, I'm trying to get a Porg army. We'll see how that goes. These First Order Star Destroyers, you're probably wondering why do you have four sealed First Order Star Destroyers? Well, they were $80 each, and you don't pass on uh, $80 First Order Star Destroyers. Let's just say that. Down here, we have a mini Imperial Shuttle sealed in the box. Same with that Sith Infiltrator there. Very cool. And then over here, we have Jabba's Sail Barge. I do plan to open and build that one eventually. I do have the other one. It's it's uh, it's it's not sealed, but it's just like not built, put together. So I'll have both Jabba's Sail Barges when I open and build them. Um, over here, we have a couple Micro Fighters. We have that that I bought on clearance for 7 bucks at Target. The Snow Speeder. And then my mom actually found this uh, Series 1 Micro Fighter Millennium Falcon at a garage sale for 25 cents. So that's how that one came into my collection. And that one will probably just stay sealed forever. There's no reason I'll ever open that. These uh, 13 sets you see in front of you are the 13 original 1999 LEGO Star Wars sets. I will be opening these rather soon, actually, because I'm going to be doing 
videos of them for the 20th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with that yet, but uh, the time or the clock is ticking and I have still not figured that one out, so I do need to figure that one out. But we have the speeder bike set, we have Han Solo's land speeder, or not Han Solo's land speeder, but just land speeder, Luke's land speeder. Then we have the Naboo Starfighter. We have a Anakin's Pod Racer, which BFAB actually bought and sent to me, so thank you, BFAB. Then we have the Naboo Swamp, X Wing Starfighter. Back there is the Snow Speeder, the Gungan Sub. We have the Sith Infiltrator. That one's yucky. We have the Y Wing and Darth Vader's TIE Fighter there. Pretty, pretty rudimentary sets here, you know. Then we also have the Droid Fighter, and then we have the Lightsaber Duel. And then over here we have, what is that one? The Moss Espa Padres, and that is the value pack. I think I paid $182 for that, but very cool. It's a target value pack, pretty hard to come by, but I will be opening it. That's gonna suck, but but I will be. Um, here in the center, we do have the UCS Money Falcon. A lot of people that saw my collection video were like, Ryan, why don't you have a UCS Money Falcon? You have all these all these Lego Star Wars sets and you don't have that one. Well, I do have that one. I, I had it built. I sold the built version I had after I did my drop test on it because I didn't want to rebuild it without numbered bags. I also didn't really have space to display it and I still obviously don't have space to display it, so I've kept it or kept the new one that I bought from Brick Vibe in the box. So that one will stay in the box basically until I move out and actually have a proper way to display that because I don't want to just throw it out there on my shelf and let it get all dusty. It's not the way to treat that set for me. I just put so, so much money into that, so I definitely don't want to want to open it and let it get super dusty. So we'll let that one sit there for a bit in its box. And hey, maybe one day it'll be worth ten thousand dollars and I'll just sell it and set. No, it probably won't be worth that much. But here to the left we have the Escape the Space Lug set. This was a 2016 May the Fourth exclusive that I was not entitled to get, so I had to buy it on eBay for like. 150 bucks that's great so then we have luke skywalker that's a lego star wars statue from like 2007 there were maybe like five different statues i don't remember but that one's definitely the cheapest the other ones are stupid expensive uh moving over here we have the rebel snow speeder this is one of my first lego star wars sets not my first but one of the first one of the ones i definitely have one of the the fondest memories of but that is a very cool set. I think I got like a super good deal on this on eBay. And that's why I bought it. It was like maybe $25, $30. So definitely couldn't pass on that. Very cool older set. And I need to get the at, -AT to go with that, you know. Need that one. Down here we have the Sith Fury Class uh, Interceptor. Now I will be building this one probably uh, before you see this video. I'll have already opened up this box. But very cool set that I bought in a lot of a few sets on eBay very recently, and I just, I'm just i trying to collect all the Old Republic sets, so I think I need just one more uh, to get them all, so I just went and picked that one up. Up here at Brick Fair this year for 160 bucks, I bought the Ultimate Space Battle. Very, very cool set. I originally did plan to build it, however, when I got home, I just, I can't do it. I'm not opening this one. No way, Jose. I'll eventually buy a used one, but definitely one of the cooler sets to have sealed in my collection, in my opinion, so... Definitely really like that one. There we have a Droid Battle Pack, which is the only set in this entire uh, collection video that isn't completely sealed, I suppose. So I bought this one at Brick Fair maybe four years ago for 10 bucks, and I had to know, right? Because during this time they were doing the gold C-3PO, so I opened up the box to see if there was a gold C-3PO. Now obviously there wasn't, but I did leave the bag sealed inside, so I've just kept this out on display like this <laughs> for quite a while now. Um, inside that box there, um, is 30 of the Scarif Stormtroopers. That's what's in there. So those were 250 each at uh, Brick World this year at the Lego booth. So couldn't pass that up. Definitely, definitely could not pass that up. Over here we have some small boxes. Obviously, most battle packs are this size. Lego did um, very briefly introduce these small boxes. They were hard to find, kind of hard to find. Not super uh, rare or anything or worth a lot at least not compared to the regular size boxes they're about the same but um, you get the idea small boxes I think I have 11 of the clone trooper one there that I got at brick fair this or brick world this year uh, they gave them out for free and my friends were all selling them and I was just making offers and I kept buying and kept buying and that's how you end up with 11 of the small box clone trooper battle packs pretty cool to have and then one Mandalorian on top I kind of wish I had more Mandalorian ones to go there speaking of small boxes we have the small box Rebel Trooper Battle Pack from 2010, and a pair of the small box Snow Trooper Battle Packs, and that'll give you a better idea of what I'm talking about with the small box thing there. So you can see the difference. Usually they are the larger rectangles, though, for the Battle Packs. And then we also have a small box Freco Speeder. This is usually a rectangle, or rather a square. However, I was able to find the rectangular version, and as a huge LEGO Star Wars collector, I just 
I like those kind of neat niche things. So that one was definitely cool to pick up. Now we do have one more big small box over here. This is one I didn't know existed and it's it's something I think I'm crazy for buying, but it's something I really like to have in my collection. Now, the Clone Trooper Tank box is usually a giant rectangle. However, this one is square. Um, if you look up pictures of it, you'll know what I mean. I'll put a picture of it like side by side there try to get you some type of comparison, but that thing, I've ne I had never seen one and I saw this on eBay and I immediately was like, all right, I'm buying it. Like took me three seconds to decide that it was like 160 bucks or something. And I, you know, I didn't feel good about it, but I was like, dude, I need this for my collection. So I like those small boxes. They're kind of a neat niche thing. There aren't too many of them. It's hard to know exactly what sets Lego did produce in small boxes. I know of just a couple more, I think that I can get in the small box. If they get posted on eBay, I keep my eye out every once in a while, but there aren't too many of those. So that's just kind of a cool niche thing. Thing. Here we have 11 of the Imperial Trooper Battle Packs with the Death Trooper. Very cool battle pack. Um, I picked those up. I don't even know if I got them on clearance. I just picked them up to have them basically when, when that thing was about to sell out forever. And I was like, I need those. I just need those. Okay. <laughs> Up here we have 24 of the First Order Battle Packs. However, I'll be getting three more in the mail very soon, so I'll be up to 27 of those, all sealed in box. A lot of them I bought this uh, very recently um, when Walmart had them for eight bucks and so did Amazon, so I definitely stocked up on those. Getting those First Order Troopers for that cheap is insane, so maybe one day those will come in handy, or maybe one day I'll sell them all and go towards a, a cool car to buy. I don't know, but I, I like having a lot of Battle Packs, so I definitely couldn't pass on those. Over here, I do have a crushed up Galactic Empire battle pack that I got from Peach Bricks at Brick World Chicago this year. Um, I'm probably just going to open this because the box is so banged up, but I'll find a, I'll, I'll buy another one with a nice box to have because I do want to have one of every battle pack sealed. So that's something I'm also working towards. Maybe for my next sealed collection, you'll see that. Or I'll just do a collection of all the battle packs, which would be just as cool. In my opinion, uh, we have the Bounty Hunter Bike Speeder Battle Pack. Again, this is one that I just bought to have one of. Uh, we have a Utapal Troopers Battle Pack that I think Chicago Brooks gave to me. And we have a Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack over there. I think about that one in clearance at Target. And we have a array of the newer 2018 Battle Packs, Jedi Clone Troopers. We have the First Order Executioner Battle Pack, which has become underrated. I feel like not a lot of people talk about that one. I don't think it's that great, but I feel like not a lot of people talk about it. Tatooine Battle Pack, and then the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. Over here we have a couple of Senate Commander Trooper Battle Packs that I bought on clearance at Target a couple years ago. I don't know why I bought those, but I bought them. Then we have a couple of Imperial Troop Transport Battle Packs there. Very cool battle packs. Kind of underrated in my opinion. Moving on from Google Express, we have uh, the Octo Island Train. I got that for like 14 bucks. I have a pair of Droid Escape sets here. So the one I got in like Christmas 2013, because I like wanted something to keep sealed for my collection for Christmas that year for whatever reason, I chose that set. And so my mom got me that set. And then the other one I just got the other day with that uh, uh, Old Republic set over there. So that came in that lot also with this. So this uh, battle pack here came with that. So very cool. Then we have a bunch of brickheads that I bought in clearance because as you can tell, I buy stuff when it's on clearance too. And then I don't do anything with it. I don't know what I'll do with those. Those will probably sit like that for years. But here we have, uh, what is this? The Ski Speeder versus First Order Walker Micro Fighters. Yeah. Bought those on Google Express for maybe like $8 each. I don't know, they were super cheap. Or maybe I bought them on clearance at Walmart for nine bucks. I don't remember, it kind of gets together now. Those were $9 on clearance at Walmart, the uh, the A-Wing versus TIE Fighter Micro Fighters. But these over here I did get on Google Express. It looks like we have four of the Duel on Naboo sets. And then we also have four of the Darth Vader's transformation sets. So those are kind of pseudo investments, pseudo one day I could just part them out and have a bunch of parts for mock sets. I'm not sure which will happen first, but but they definitely were nice for the price. I think I paid like maybe $10 each for those. So pretty cheap. I'm going to cut in here to tell you guys what sealed sets I'm getting in the mail very soon. It's just a few simple things. I'm getting four, five rather, of the Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Pack there. I'm also getting six of the Death Star Trooper Battle Pack from that very same year. And I'm getting two of the 2008 Imperial Trooper Battle Packs. However, I think I'll probably open one of those just because I don't think I have that build anymore, but I'll have quite a few more Battle Packs. Anyway, I think that's everything. I think I just covered everything for my sealed LEGO Star Wars collection. Uh, it is quite a bit. It's probably worth almost $5,000. However, once I open up a bunch of the sets that I do plan to open up, it'll be 
be worth less, I guess. But it'll just make my other collection worth more, I suppose. But yeah, I have a lot of LEGO Star Wars sets. I have a lot of LEGO Star Wars sets I haven't opened. And I don't know what I'm going to do with a lot of these at some point. Because I think eventually it will reach a point where I need to either sell them, build them, or give them to somebody. Like, obviously some of these I will use for giveaways. Like, I do that occasionally. Um, I was originally planning to do Captain Rex's ATT as a giveaway, like, a year ago. And I just haven't done it yet. So maybe one of these days I'll be doing that. I'll definitely try to give away maybe one of those resistance transport pods. Those are terrible sets, but maybe someone will want it. Maybe someone can appreciate it, unlike me. But let me know in the comments section below what the favorite set you saw in this video was. What was your favorite sealed set that I have in my collection? Let me know. And let, also let me know what sets should I get to keep sealed? What should I get just to keep sealed. I don't do it too often, but let me, I, what am I saying? I have so many sealed sets, but let me know what I should get and keep sealed. What you think would be cool to see in the next sealed collection video. Definitely not going to be the other UCS Money and Falcon though, I'll tell you that. Anyway, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and leave a comment with an answer to one of the questions that I just posed. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.